Hello, this is a training video for how to use the PASCO heat engine apparatus and just some ideas for you. If you're not using it, I hope you do. It's a great tool. What you need is you need an ice bath, which I've got here, some boiling water here. You want the biggest temperature difference that you can get so you get some significant changes. With the heat engine, this cylinder here is how we're going to add or remove heat from the system. And it hooks up to one of these inputs here on the, on the heat engine. The other one, you need to hook up to a gas pressure sensor of some sort. I use vernier probes. You also need a motion detector. The motion detector, you're going to have to rate a calculated column for it. And that calculated column would be the distance to the bottom minus the range measured. So you have to measure that distance ahead of time in your setup so that as this rises up, it reads as a uh, increase in distance rather than a decrease in distance. I've got this running off Logger Pro. You can do the same sort of thing with Data Studio if that's what you use. I haven't used Tracker, but you might be able to use that as well. You can demonstrate some different processes. I'm going to show those to you. One thing that you can measure, and I'll explain what this 3x5 card duct tape on here for is a little bit later, but you can look at processes that happen very quickly. So a process without heat added, like an adiabatic process. We talk about that being something happening so quickly that heat can't be added. So yank up on it, and you'll get your adiabatic process. Or you can talk about an isothermal process, where things are done at a constant temperature, but heat's allowed to leave the system. Well, my heat can leave the system through here, so I can slowly do work on the system, and I can produce, hopefully, what's a nice isotherm behind me. I can also produce things at constant pressure. If I do any sort of work without restricting that, that's going to be at constant pressure. So you'll see my nice horizontal line that's going to be generated as a result. And another thing that we can do, let me get the scale back a little better, is we can generate a process that's isovolumetric. So I can fix the volume by clamping down this tool right here. So of course, something that happens at a constant volume, we should see a line that's vertical as we add energy into the system. So we can demonstrate that quite easily. And then we can also demonstrate, I'll unlock it there, we can also demonstrate an entire cycle. So that's what this 3x5 card is for. I want to lift this mass, but I don't want what the motion detector sees to be any different. So I'll do the cycle by starting with nothing on it. And I will add a load, being very careful to make sure that I don't have my hands any higher than that. I'll add heat to the system. So I'll do some work. You've got to be careful that you don't let the cold water break your hot beaker, of course. So I'll get an amount of work done. I'll remove my load. So you'll see the drop. And then I will exhaust my heat. And I'll come back and have a complete cycle. I get a little bit of data noise off to the side there from the uh, motion detector not being quite lined up. I think I bumped it a little bit. But I can zoom in on this, of course, and I can get a good look at what that cycle might look like. So we see we've got this loop for a cycle. The phys students physically see we're back where we started in our original position, what the setup is, how we did work. And work is still the force times and distance. So how we did one value of work and another value of work without the same force. And so it's a great idea for making connections to what we talk about with thermodynamics and the different types of processes and with the thermodynamic cycle. You can get really precise and turn this calculation here 
into an actual volume, knowing the diameter of this piston, it's printed, printed right on the side, and you can then work this into a more detailed lab setting. But don't be afraid of what this apparatus is. Use it. If you have any ideas, share what they are. Good luck.